Hello everybody. Welcome from HBACR Design Engineering. My name is Tuya Ang. Now, I want to talk about reading and understanding basic air conditioning wiring diagram. When I start looking at the wiring diagram, I first look at the legend and abbreviation. COMP is indicator compressor. T1 is indicator conductor contact. T2 is indicator conductor contact. CFN is indicator condenser fan motor. IFN is indicator endo fan motor. IFR is indicator endo fan relay. IFR coin is indicator endo fan relay coin. IFR contact is indicator indoor fan relay contact. HP is indicator high pressure switch. LP is indicator low pressure switch. RC is indicator run capacitor. OLP is indicator overload protector. C is indicator common terminate. S is indicator start terminate. R is indicator run terminate. This type of basic air conditioning wiring diagram is ladder schematic diagram. In this ladder schematic diagram, part of components are shown in separate location. For example, in conductor, conductor contact and conductor coil are all together inside the conductor. But in ladder schematic diagram, conductor coil and conductor contact are shown in separate location. In compressor. There are three terminals: common terminal C, start terminal S, and run terminal R. Compressor start terminal S is connected to one side of run capacitor, and compressor run terminal R is connected to another side of the run capacitor. Line is connected to one side of overload protector, and another side of overload protector is connected to compressor common terminal C. Neutral is connected to compressor run terminal R. Run capacitor is assisted to start the running of the compressor. Overload protector is protect the compressor from overload and overheat. External overload protector is connected from externally to compressor common terminal C, so it can be disconnected easily. Internal overload protector is located inside the compressor and it directly connected to the compressor common terminal C, so it cannot be disconnected easily. Run capacitor connection with condenser fan motor and endo fan motor are same as compressor. In endo fan motor, you will see only common C wire, start as wire and run a wire in this wiring diagram. Because in this basic air conditioning wiring diagram, I want to explain with single speed endo fan motor. In other air conditioning wiring diagram, you will see more than three wire in endo fan motor because they will use three speed endo fan motor. Now, I was talking about the conductor. In conductor consists of conductor coil and conductor contact. A one and A two are conductor coil contact. L1 is conductor line in contact and L2 is conductor neutral in contact. T1 is conductor line out contact and T2 is conductor neutral out contact. When line and neutral current is flow into conductor coil, L1 contact and T1 contact are close, and then line is flow from L1 contact to T1 contact. When line and neutral current is flow into conductor coil, L2 contact and T2 contact are close. And then neutral is flow from L2 contact to T2 contact. Now I was talking about endo fan relay. Endo fan relay consists of endo fan relay coil and endo fan relay contact. Contact number one and contact number three are endo fan relay coil contact. Contact number four is endo fan relay common contact. Contact number five is endo fan relay normally close and C contact. Contact number two is endo fan relay normally open anode contact. 
when lion neutral current is flowing into endofan relay coil. Contact number 2 endofan relay normally open and no contact is chained to close position. Now I was talking about thermostat. Our thermostat is using 24 volt alternating current AC power supply. So we need to use transformer for stepping down from 230 volt AC power supply to 24 volt AC power supply. Now you see is the sub base of thermostat. In this sub base of 24 volt AC thermostat, wire need to connect to the thumbnail block. In manufacturer data sheet, the blue thumbnail is for heat relay coil, white thumbnail is for contactor coil. G thumbnail is for endofan relay coil. O is thumbnail for four way reversing bar coil energizing cooling. RC is thumbnail for cooling power supply. R is thumbnail for heating power supply. P is thumbnail for four way reversing bar coil energizing heating. In this thermostat, I want cooling only. So, we need to use R thumbnail, G thumbnail and Y thumbnail. According to the manufacturer data sheet, for cooling only, I need to jump in wire from RC thermonet to R thermonet. So we can connect whether RC thermonet or R thermonet for cooling only. Because of use cooling only in thermostat, in this basic air conditioning wiring diagram, you will only see R thermonet, G thermonet and Y thermonet in thermostat. Now, I was talking about high pressure switch and low pressure switch. Pressure switch is simply a switch allowing to connect or disconnect the electric current flowing into the wire. According to the pressure limit, pressure switch are classified as high pressure switch and low pressure switch. Our high pressure switch and low pressure switch are using 24 volt AC. When pressure is low enough to reach the pressure limit, Switching low pressure switches open. When switching low pressure switches open, disconnect the electric current flowing into the wire. When pressure is high enough to reach the pressure limit, switching low pressure switches close again. When switching low pressure switches close again, electric current will flowing again into the wire. For example, in low pressure switch, open the switch when pressure is 35 pound per square inch gauge PSIG and close the switch when pressure is go as to 60 pound per square inch gauge PSIG. When pressure is high enough to reach the pressure limit, switch in high pressure switch is open. When switch in high pressure switch is open, disconnect the electric current flowing into the wire. When pressure is low enough to reach the pressure limit, switch in high pressure switch is closed again. For example, in high pressure switch, open the switch when pressure is 450 pound per square in gauge PSIG and close the switch when pressure is 360 pound per square in gauge PSIG. In this letter schematic wiring diagram, all the components are located between line and neutral. There are two sides in this ladder schematic diagram. They are 24 volt AC low voltage side and 230 volt AC high voltage side. 24 volt AC low voltage side include thermostat, high pressure switch, low pressure switch, indoor fan relay coil and contactor coil. 230 volt AC high voltage side include compressor, contactor fan motor, indoor fan motor, contactor contact. Indo fan relay contact, overload protector and RAM capacitor. In thermostat, I setting the temperature to 75 degree Fahrenheit. Fan is setting to auto. System is setting to cool. In wiring diagram, you will see system switch is closed for cool, but thermal switch in thermostat is open because our setting temperature is higher than room temperature. At the time, endofan relay coil and contactor coil are de-energized because 24 volt AC current is not flowing into endofan relay coil and contactor coil. Because of endofan relay coil and contactor coil are de-energized, endofan relay contact and contactor contact are open. When endofan relay contact 
and counter that counter are open line and neutral current is not flowing into compressor condenser fan motor and into fan motor so compressor condenser fan motor and into fan motor are stopping when room temperature is reaching to 80 degree fahrenheit time switching thermostat is closed for cool because our certain temperature is lower than room temperature at the time into fan release quiet and contact quiet and energized because 24 volt ac current is flowing into into fan relay quiet and contact quiet because of into fan relay quiet and contact quiet are energized into fan relay contact and contact contact are close when into fan relay contact and contact contact are close Line and neutral current is flowing into compressor, condenser fan motor and into fan motor. So, compressor, condenser fan motor and into fan motor are running for cooling. If I set the fan in fan switch, whether time is switching, thermostat is closed or open, into fan motor will be running. Because at the time, 24 volt AC current is flowing into into fan relay coil and energized the into fan relay coil. And then into fan relay contact is closed. So, line neutral current is flowing into into fan motor and into fan motor is running. In this condition, because of time switching, thermostat is open. 24 volt AC current is not flowing into contactor coil and contactor coil is de-energized. So, contactor contact are open. Because of contactor contact are open, line and neutral current cannot flow into compressor and condenser fan motor. So, compressor and condenser fan motor are stopping. If compressor is overload or overheat, Overload protector is open for stopping the compressor running because overload protector is disconnected current flowing into the compressor. In this condition, condenser fan motor and into fan motor are still running because contactor contact and into fan relay contact are still closed. Line and neutral current is still flowing into the condenser fan motor and into fan motor. In air conditioning system, if there is higher than pressure limit, high pressure switch is open and stopping the compressor and condenser fan motor. Because high pressure switch is open for disconnect the current flowing into the contactor coil. At the time, contactor coil is de-energized and contactor contact are open. So line and neutral current is not flowing into the compressor and condenser fan motor. So, Compressor and condenser fan motor are stopping. In this condition, into fan relay coil is still energizing. Into fan relay contact are still closed. So, line and neutral current is still flowing into into fan motor and into fan motor is still running. In air conditioning system, there is lower than pressure limit. Low pressure switch is open and stopping the compressor and condenser fan motor because. Low pressure switch is open for disconnect the current flowing into the contactor coil. At the time, contactor coil is de-energized and contactor contact are open. So, line and neutral current is not flowing into the compressor and condenser fan motor. So, compressor and condenser fan motor are stopping. In this condition, Indo fan relay coil is still energized and Indo fan relay contact are still closed. So, line and neutral current is still flowing into Indo fan motor and Indo fan motor is still running. Thank you very much for watching my video.